Now, Representative Diane Black. Thank you, Representative Hartzler, for all the work that you do in helping to lead us this effort here in Congress. And Lila Rose for the work that you've done with Live Action and Marilyn Musgrave also with the Susan B. Anthony. It's all of our voices together that are going to make a difference. And we've got to be loud. We've got to make sure that we get the message out. And so last month, the Trump administration proposed a new regulation to prohibit Title X recipients from providing abortion services under the federal um, family planning program. Now, this is something we've been working on for a long time, and I applaud the administration for taking this step. <clears throat> the integrity of our tax dollars should never be in question, especially those intended for actual family planning and women's health care. Let me be clear. Abortion is not family planning. It is family destruction. Under these new rules, we have an opportunity to equip women with resources that value and protect their unborn children. And I'm proud to fight alongside of President Trump, Live Action, um, Susan B. Anthony, and millions of Americans to defend the sanctity of life from the very beginning. The proposed res reg regulations also reinforce the mandate that every Title X facility must report suspected cases of sexual abuse according to the reporting laws in 50 states. When women are facing the unimaginable circumstances, feel as though they have no other choice, the lies we are, that are coming from the big abortion industry are just heartbreaking. Live Action's findings show us that these same lies are used to willfully neglect reporting these horrific cases of abuse, rape, and sex trafficking. It's come to light that Planned Parenthood performs abortions on girls as young as 12 years old and then sends them right back into the arms of their abusers without alerting the authorities. It is shameful. We read the story of a 16-year-old girl brought to Planned Parenthood facility for an abortion where she pleaded for help and was ignored. There's another story of a 15-year-old rape victim being told that the Planned Parenthood facility, and I quote, didn't want the hassle of having to report an assault to law enforcement. The hassle. Her counselor then coded the report as consensual encounter. Planned Parenthood's failure to report these heinous crimes does not empower women or our children. It empowers their abusers. A 2014 report from Loyola's University Beasley Institute found that Planned Parenthood was one of the most visited facilities for sex trafficking vic victims, second only to emergency rooms. And in the report, a victim of sex trafficking was quoted as saying that the reason she was taken to Planned Parenthood for an abortion was because they don't ask questions. These stories are sickening, and we're calling on HHS to investigate every Planned Parenthood and Title X funding recipient to determine how widespread this reporting failure is. The despicable cycle of these facilities turning a blind eye to sexual abuse and exploitation of our children must end.